Listen to this. That is the sound of neurons firing inside your brain. And it's the key to controlling machines with our thoughts. A brain-computer interface, also known as a brain-machine interface, is a system that allows direct communication between an organism's brain and an external machine. Because our brain's neurons communicate via electrical impulses, we can listen into these signals and decode them for our use. Dr. Miguel Nicolelis is at the forefront of developing VCI technology. By studying and monitoring the electrical signals of the human brain, his lab was able to create mind-controlled exoskeletons that translate the thoughts of paraplegic humans via an EEG cap into physical movement through the exoskeleton. Brainstorms is a way to describe collective electrical signals produced by large numbers of uh, brain cells. We were able to uh, demonstrate that we could read these brainstorms from rat or monkey brains and decode some simple motor messages that were embedded in these brainstorms and use them to allow these animals to voluntarily control the movements of devices just by thinking. The most cutting-edge brain-computer interfaces require direct implants into the brain. Dr. Nicolelis works with monkeys who have moved via these advanced implants everything from virtual avatars of themselves on computer screens to a robot across the world in Kyoto, Japan. In this experiment, the monkey is using the scooter to reach the food bowl. It only has to think about moving and the cart does the rest. The robotic scooter becomes a mechanical extension of the monkey, and it knows that it doesn't need to move physically in order to reach the bowl. And that evolved very quickly. We were able to show that we could record the same brainstorms from human patients. And as that evolved, we saw uh, that technology could become the core of a new approach to treat uh, patients who suffer from devastating levels of body paralysis. The work being done at Dr. Nicolelis' lab shows us that brain-computer interfaces can successfully read and execute our thoughts, whether they are implanted or worn. Today, other neuroscientists working with brain implants are also discovering how to tune into parts of the brain related to the senses of touch, smell, and even sight. The brain is the most complex biological device that we know in the universe. The moment we understand it, we understand everything. The brain is just stardust combined into this amazing mesh of billions of cells interconnected, producing a version of reality. In the near future, this technology will enable amputees to plug directly into their prostheses and allow spinal cord injury victims to move again. It's going to be a while before we map out the entire human brain because some say our brains are made up of about as many neurons as there are stars in the entire Milky Way galaxy. But in the words of Dr. Nicolelis, Once you get the brain outside the physical limits of the body, the limit is the imagination. Check out more episodes of Cyborg Nation by subscribing to the Wired channel.